Frost Morning News. I'm Grant Nielsen. And I'm Amanda Dixon. Right now, downtown, it's cloudy, 60 degrees. A rollover blocking traffic on I-80. Logan County, Utah. Heartland, America. Where farming is a way of life. Now, I've come here to see something which I think is truly, truly extraordinary. This may look like a fairly typical farm. There's grain over there, there are horses and cows and sheep, and it certainly smells like a real farm. But there's one animal here which I think shouldn't really exist. This isn't your usual farm. It's part of Utah State University. Professor Randy Lewis is working on a project that shows if you combine the principles of farming with the latest science, you quickly find yourself in a very odd place. It starts with spiders. Randy. So what is it about spiders? Well, the spider that we have here is a, uh, called an orb weaver, and she makes six different kinds of silk. And the silk we're interested in is called dragline silk. It's the silk that they catch themselves when they fall. It's actually stronger than Kevlar. So it really has some pretty amazing properties for any kind of a fiber. So you've got this amazing property of silk, which I mean, it's stronger than anything we can make ourselves? Correct, correct. So that's an attractive material that you want to we want to, you know, get some... Off. That's right, we want to make a lot of it. So, you know, we're on a farm here. Why don't you just farm the spiders? Well, they're very cannibalistic. So they'll basically kill each other until everybody has enough room to do it. So basically, spiders are unfarmable. Spiders are absolutely unfarmable. Can we get around? Sure. Oh, she's so... She's beautiful. Look at that. Why would anyone be afraid of that? I just think it's, she's I... gorgeous. My hands are actually getting bound in silk as she runs <laughs> around them. It'll be cocooned and, soon. Well, and, and you can see that um, that's why they call it dragline. I mean, she leaves it uh, there the entire time. We have spent a uh, very long time trying to figure out a, a way to produce lots of, of silk. And the only way we've got it is that we have to take the spider silk gene and transfer it to an animal that can produce large quantities of the silk. So what you're telling me is that somewhere on this farm there is an animal which is part spider and part something else? There are, and, and they will produce large amounts of, of spider silk for protein for us to make into fibers. I think you need to show me that. 